Hello everyone, today's video I'm going to show you one method for repairing a crack in a concrete slab to go from what you see here to something like this, totally restored and resurfaced using our TF Structural Concrete Repair Mortar. Um, this is a, a one day application. The job you're going to see in this video actually only took us about an hour and a half to complete fully. We have another video on, on YouTube with us overlaying a slab with a crack in it. So we had a lot of comments questioning the crack and why it wasn't repaired. So this video is going to show you uh, a method to do a crack repair prior to installation of an overlay. So the first step on preparing this crack is going to be jackhammering it. So we can get it nice and opened up for the TF structural to get into the crack and down underneath the slabs, fusing itself to both sides. And there was a height difference on this crack, so I'm spending a little more time on this side to help smooth that transition out. And then here we're just giving the slab a, a quick grind in preparation for the next steps. Okay, so here we have the slab fully prepped. Um, you can see we put a grind on it because we're going to be skimming this pad right after we fix the crack. So that was about 20 minutes of jackhammering. You see I really opened up this crack. Uh, and expose it right down to the earth. So what's important to note is when you're using um, concrete restoration products, for the most part, they're all very rigid materials. They have extremely high PSI, which is great for compression, but they, they tend to have very low tensile strength, so they don't flex or bend. And once a crack has appeared in a slab of concrete, you now have two independent pieces. So when you're fixing it, you don't want to just pour material down into the crack because it's always going to break and crack open again unless you're using something flexible like caulking. So in this method, what we've done is jackhammered right down uh, to the bottom. And you can see we, we undermined this slab over here because this is the one that sunk. And when we put a restoration material in, it's going to flow down underneath and give a real solid base for this piece to sit on and uh, the TF structural is going to fuse to this side and this side of the slab hopefully uh, reattaching the two pieces back together giving a nice solid base for this one to sit on and uh, that crack should not come back uh, there still is a chance that it comes back because again it's only microscopic movement that's required for a crack to come back even just the temperature swings from day to night is enough to make the concrete contract and expand and possibly have that crack return. But when using rigid materials, this is one of the best methods you can use um, really to fill in that crack, give a nice solid base and a, a real good chance for that repair to last. So here we are mixing up the TF structural repair mortar. And for this application, we're gonna mix the product a little drier as well as uh, add about 30% 30, 30 dry aggregate to extend the yield as we're doing quite a deep repair here. And you can see I'm really gonna work the product down into, into that crack as you saw earlier in the video, uh, how much concrete we, we remove. So I really wanna make sure that the TF structural gets down and underneath that slab for a real solid uh, base for that slab to sit on. And then I just grabbed another mix and now I'm filling in the top part of the crack and I'm gonna smooth this out as well as making sure that that height difference we had in the beginning on the crack is a, a nice gentle slope down to that front edge. So that's just what I'm doing here with the trowel. Just using that other trowel as well to keep the product off of that front slab and uh, doing a final smooth here, getting ready for the, the skim coat. So here's the final repair about 20 minutes after we filled it and it's already hard, ready for us to overlay it. Uh, we do have other videos on YouTube that are quite extensive going into uh, overlaying pads and brooming and troweling techniques. So here I'm going quite fast uh, with the overlay portion, but I did want to show it just to give the full complete picture of how to repair the crack and then do an overlay on the slab. So when you leave, it, it does look like a nice finish, uh, clean repair. And the, the skim mix that we did make was a little bit wetter. So when I'm doing the initial broom lines, you can see they are quite rough. Um, sometimes customers want you to leave it that way. Um, just in the winter, it can be a real nice grippy surface. But if you do want it smoother, you can see here, I just washed off the broom and, and went over it one more time. And that knocked down a lot of those rough parts. So you can get it 
as smooth and tight as you want with the brooming or as or essentially as rough as you do need it but there you go guys so there's a, a way to repair cracks in a concrete slab and put an overlay on it so it does look like a fully completed repaired slab when you're finished this is only one of many methods but it, it is quite effective if you're able to open up that crack and get a really deep repair so that both slabs fuse back together and they have nice solid base to let to lay on so if you guys like this video feel free to click the like button there and subscribe to our channel and you'll be able to get some notifications to see a lot more videos like this and leave in the comments below any types of concrete repair videos you'd like to see in the future thank you